All right, so this is my Mac-based system. Uh, as you can see, Mac Mojave is running version 10.14 uh, and all the uh, system information is available right here. Uh, the reason uh, I'm saying this because this is pretty important to know what version we're working on because that comes in handy when we go ahead and install the Xcode and uh, command line tools, etc. And this is a pretty uh, you know fresh system. What we have is just the defaults and a simple command would normally install WordMove. First, we have to check if Ruby is there, right? All right, so we have 2.3.7. So let's try gem install WordMove, right? Because WordMove come as a Ruby gem, okay? So let's go enter. Okay, so there's a permission issue, so we have to use sudo gem install word move, right? Password. And now it's saying it requires Ruby 2.4.4. To upgrade now from Ruby 2.3.7 to 2.4.4 requires installing RVM. Ruby version manager and to do that is a whole big list of things we have to install and also it doesn't stop there if word movie is complaining about 2.4.4 doesn't mean as soon as you install 2.4.4 everything is going to work no because i have tried it after multiple upgrades i finally decided to go with the latest and the greatest ruby version which is Ruby 3.0.2, which is the latest, right? Always go for the latest and the greatest Ruby version. So now just to go and install RVM, now here is the list of software we're gonna need to have RVM installed properly so that we can upgrade to the necessary Ruby version. And only then this command, sudo gem install word move, will work so let's check out the list all right so this is the list basically it was supposed to be ruby and word move right but it doesn't work that way because ruby needs to be upgraded right even here it looks like a, a smaller list right but it's actually not um, and and let me tell you why because just to get ruby upgraded we need something called rvm installed to get RVM installed, we need Xcode and the command line tools, right? And once you get those two, then this is what you need to get RVM. There's a whole list of things. You have to follow these steps. Um, Homebrew, uh, GNUPG, GPG, and then RVM. It's a quite a long list, but if you follow these steps, it actually not that bad. But to get here is a quite a bit of work. And let me tell you why. Getting this step one and two, finding the right Xcode and the command line tool, that's where things get really messy. So let me show you how you can find them and what you have to go through. First, you just look for Mac developer tools. And then when you do get there, and you go find the download. But if you hit the download, they're gonna make you log in. But uh, don't worry, it's a free account as, as long as you have a Mac ID, that's not a problem, right? So you come here, but do not go for any latest and the greatest stuff. That's where things get really squirrely. So what do you have to do? Hit more and then keep going because, uh, you know, uh, this idiots uh, over at Mac, they don't make anything easy for you. I mean, if you go into details, they give you pretty much no information. I mean, at least a week ago, the interface was different. I could get some information and it was easier to find stuff, but now they made it extremely difficult to find anything. And they put now even less uh, details as you're gonna need, right? So it's the whole thing is a trial and error right especially if you're not running the latest and the greatest thing because because as you saw i'm running this version right mac os 10.14 so the latest uh, xcode and command line tools none of them will work here 
right? So now I have to go dig down through here and try to find the right one, right? So it, it has been a long journey. I'm just gonna, you know, give you a fair warning here. And uh, this search, let's say I'm looking for Xcode 9.3. Look, it does nothing. This search engine is completely 100% useless. So pretty much what you have to do, go dig down and keep looking for stuff. And if you keep downloading them, and after the download, think about this. After the download, like let's say, uh, the, okay, this is 24 megabyte, but if you go for, let's say, a big one, right? Look, it's 10 gigabyte. So after this kind of large download, once you finish downloading it, it's gonna show you it is not installable on your system. Before that, there is absolutely no information available. So good luck with it. So basically, that's how I found the version I was looking for. As my list says right here, after trying a whole bunch of them, you know, like 11, 10, whatever, whatever, and then finally I found 9.3 to be installable on my version. We're going to go ahead and install this Xcode 9.3 here and the command line tools 10.2 from here. Let's get started. I'll start with the Xcode. It's going to take a while to expand this. I'll be right back. Okay, it has finally expanded it. So now let's run this. Agree. Okay, we'll be back after it installs. Okay, it looks like we have successfully installed Xcode and let's get out of it. Only reason I'm doing this because I need this tool. And this is very important that you get the right uh, command line tool installed. Otherwise, uh, the Ruby installation will fail. So the rule of thumb is to get the highest possible Xcode version and command line tool version available so that the rest of the step can go smoothly. So let's uh, install this guy right here. All right, so let's run the package. Install. All right, so both of our Xcode and command line tool successfully installed. I'm gonna keep that. Now let's go back to our list. Okay, now one and two done. Now let's go for Ruby. And to get Ruby, we know we need RVM. So let's get started with this list right here. Let's follow these steps. Thing is, there's a prerequisite homebrew, right? So we have to install homebrew now. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, install homebrew. Uh, and this is the document for that. And here's the command that I'm gonna go ahead and copy. All the way. And go ahead and paste it here. Clearing the screen. Paste the whole command and let's make it a little bit larger. Hit enter, my password, enter. All right, so that started the homebrew installation. It's gonna take a while, so once this is done, I will come back. All right, so looks like uh, homebrew has been successfully installed. So I'm just gonna verify it by doing a clear screen and brew help yes so now let's go see what's the next step okay so now we're gonna follow this line by line so let's i'm just gonna copy this command from here go up here and paste it And let's get that GNUPG installed. OK, 
okay, I'm not sure how long it's going to take. We'll be right back. Okay, that took a while, uh, but we got GNUPG installed. And let's go see what's the next step. And that would be this. Once again, I'm going to go ahead and uh, copy the whole thing and paste it. Okay, hit enter. Okay, so after some research, I found this one as a solution. I'm going to about to try this, search for this string and get here. And they're saying the, uh, the server URL might have been wrong. Copy this part and try to replace it. Just this server URL. Control V to paste it and hit enter. Once again, it's failing. I'll be right back. Okay, so upon further research, I found this as a solution and I'm going to try this. They're saying those server based installations of GPGs are no longer working. So let's try this for a change. Carl not found. All right, look like uh, I'm missing the uh, Carl tool here. So let's, since I have a homebrew, so I'm gonna go ahead and call in brew install Carl. Okay, so now that I have Carl installed, so let's do a clear and let's grab this guy again. And paste it here. Enter. GPG2 not found. Okay, let's go. I'll be back. All right, so I'm going to run the same command, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it into GPG because I did install GPG here. And look like that worked. Okay. So now let's go with the next one. Copy this. Paste that. And change this to GPG. Okay, so looks like we are ready to move to the next step. I'll be right back. Okay, so just for future reference, uh, this is the document I get, got this uh, command from. Uh, and finally got the GPG installed. And keep in mind, this is if you have installed GPG, you have to remove the two from here and install Carl using Homebrew, right? And this is the string you need to search for the future reference. Now let's move on to this document. And these guys seriously need to consider upgrading their document. Okay, so now that we have our GPG installed, now we're going to go ahead and go for this command right here. This is where we're going to go for the actual RVM. Let's try it out. Okay, so here let's do a clear and paste that command. Hit enter. Okay, look like uh, the RVM got installed properly. And just to test it, uh, we have to update our uh, bash profile. I mean, restart it basically. So quickly to do that, we're gonna go ahead and uh, start a new window and that will refresh the bash profile. So here, if we try RVM list, and that gives us a return, which is a proof that RVM got installed properly. So now let's go try the next command, which is RVM install, uh, basically the version number we are looking for, right? And this is not it. And what we are looking for is this version number, 3.0.2. So let's go back. So we're gonna use this command rvm install and then 3.0.2 
All right, so let's go back and RVM install 3.0.2. Enter. Okay, looks like this is gonna go on for a while. We will be right back after it installs. All right, so looks like we have successfully installed Ruby 3.0.2. So just to make sure, let's do a clear here and do a Ruby Yes, we have 3.0. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and take my chances with gem install word move. And this should be able to get us word move. Let's go. So far so good. All right, looks like we have successfully installed the word move and let's try word move minus V. There you go, 5.2.1. So word move is installed successfully, but at this point we have more work to do. So this is the actual uh, path for those two tools that we just installed. And just in case your paths are not set properly, you may wanna take these and add to your uh, bash profile. And last time when I did that, since I have MAMPRO running here and MAMPRO, has all the MySQL paths and everything. So for that reason, we're gonna have to have our paths properly set and that's what we're gonna do next. Okay, so yes, we did have success with word move installation, but I actually did this, I mean, this is my system, uh, Mojave 10.14. And this is, this is a fresh system that I installed it on. So none of the paths were set up just yet so when i after installation when i first went to run word move so i checked first uh, with this command not found and then i checked ruby and look at that you all saw that I did install Ruby 3.0.1 and now it is showing me 2.3.7 and then when I go which Ruby and I find it's a system path it's the default Mac path and that's where the Ruby is coming from so that means everything that we went through those are still there but paths are not set for that reason I had to go open up my bash profile, which is this right here, dot bash profile, and added this line, which I'm going to uncomment right now, and then save the file. So basically what's happening is I had to dig out the actual new installation of Ruby path, which is this, and since word move comes as a Ruby gem, so this same path works for it and then after that i added systems local paths the default paths so that system first checks this picks up the latest ruby and then go run the other commands from the system files and this guy came later i tried to run word move everything set up and it kept failing on the mysql connection because it did not find the mysql dump command right so that's why i had to add this because in my system mysql and everything is controlled by mampro and that's the path for mysql php etc so after this was set up so now let's go and restart it Okay, so now if we do Ruby, 
boom, it's 3.0.1 and word move 5.2.1. So now, finally, word move it has been installed. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please smash the like button and the subscribe button. This will help me bring more free contents like this to you every week. Thanks again.